crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I'm going to share with you a quick trick and hack for turning your manual die cuts, whether they're thin rule or steel rule dies, and converting them into digital cut files on Cricut Design Space for use with your Cricut Maker or Explore Air 1 or 2. So let's take a look. Step 1, make a die cut. You're going to want to use the stiffest, blackest paper that you have because it will give you the best contrast for the photo and that's the next step. So after you cut your image, you're going to want to adhere it to some white paper and it's going to be bright white paper. Make sure that you adhere glue to as many areas in the back as you can. If you have any little points that want to lift up or any little delicate bits, get in there with an on point glue or a glue pen because what you really want to do is to be able to smash everything down flat and have it stick. Any areas where it lifts up a little bit, like if it's on a project, it has like dimension. We don't want that for this because any place that has dimension creates a shadow which then you have to edit out or fix later. But go ahead, I use an acrylic block to smash everything down for a little while just to make sure it's securely adhered to the paper. Once that's done, go ahead and take a picture with your smartphone. Then go ahead and upload it to your computer in any way that's easiest for you. Now you're going to want to go ahead and go to your computer Make sure your Wi-Fi is good and open up Cricut Design Space. This is a free online software that uh, powers your Cricut Maker, your Cricut Explore Air. Um, you do have to sign in to get an account, but it is free to use. Now I'm going to actually show you on a screenshot exactly how we do this. First you're going to click New Project and then you're going to go over to Upload. You'll see that little icon that allows you to upload an image and I'm clicking it now. It gives you the opportunity to drag and drop a file or you can browse something that's on your desktop. And my little flower photo is right there on top. So here she is. And the next thing you have to do is cut away all that white papery business, all the white background. So you can select simple, moderate complex or complex. I just almost always select complex because it gives me the best detail. So you go ahead and click that and now it's going to give you the opportunity to cut that away and as you see kind of zoomed in super fast so you can zoom in or out using the little microscope or the little magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and then just click on the white bits and it will allow you to start removing the white paper now as this little green circle goes around it's thinking about it but what you want to see is the entire background covered with the little checkerboards. And the way I do that is I take my cursor, I go into an area, and then I click the mouse. And as you can see, by magic, all of those little areas are disappearing, leaving only the black die cut, which is why it was really important to have the die cut be black and securely fastened to the paper. Now, you're still going to get some residual smudge because no matter how white your paper is, it's still going to have um, a little bit of smudge. And that kind of looks like these little gray granular bits. You see, they're very, very hard to see, but they're there. And as a matter of fact, we're going to erase some of them by selecting the erase tool on the upper left hand corner. It looks like a little eraser and now I'm going to use my tool and just kind of mouse over those and click to try to get some of that out. But what I want to show you is a way that you can clean up this image without actually having to erase all of that manually. Now, before I show you my shortcut, I do want to point out there's some things you do have to clean up manually. So, for example, this little area up here in the corner where the die is the die cut was not great. Um, I'm actually going through with my eraser tool and I'm getting rid of that black portion. Those are just the places where maybe the die cut didn't cut all the way through. I don't want that digitized. I don't want that part of my final project. So if you have any areas like that, you do have to go in with your erase tool and very carefully hover over the area and click one at a time and it will clean up those little paper threads or those little boogers that are left over. You can see there's one here inside the wing that I'm getting now. I'm making my eraser tool super teeny so that I can actually get in there and clean those up. So make sure you do that kind of cleanup. That 
the uh, my little tip is not going to help you with. You do have to do that part. Okay. Once you have most of your major schmutz cleaned up, you're going to go ahead and take a look at it and go to make it. So it'll give you the option of to save it as a cut image or save it as a print image. Now notice the cut image over here on the right hand side, you can still see all of those kind of goobers and that's, we don't want the goobers. So what we're going to do is actually save it as a print image. Notice how clean the print image looks. It doesn't have any of those little schmutzy bits. So please save it first as a print then cut image and it's going to go okay. Um, now my computer is thinking for a minute. I'm going to take you through this in real time just because it's easier. And next you're actually going to see it saved in your library. All right, so here are my recently uploaded images. And now what I'm going to do is select that image and I'm going to insert it. And that's kind of a weird way of saying load that onto your mat. But hit the insert image and it now pops up onto what will be your cutting mat. So by the way, you may have noticed that also all of those little schmutzy bits are still there, but we're going to get rid of those next. And the way we're going to do that is by making a screenshot. The first thing we're going to do is remove the grid lines. Click in the upper left hand corner and as you see I just did that, the grid lines disappear. So you have this nice bright white screen. This is actually how we're going to get rid of the detrius. I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to take a screenshot of my computer screen with this beautiful bright white background and in doing so we will eliminate a whole lot of editing woes. So here I'm taking my screenshot, I'm selecting my area. If you're using a Mac, it's Command, Shift, and 4, and you get a nice little screenshot. Now what I'm going to do is actually kind of repeat the process. I'm going to upload the image I just took, which is my screenshot. You can see me doing it here. I'm Now this is like super easy to do, so I can just go moderately complex, boom, it's uploaded and remember that process that we did at the beginning where I click and it turns the white areas into checkerboards. Look, I'm doing it again and now I don't have to spend all of this time with my eraser tool trying to get rid of all of those little little leftover bits. I can just select and click. Remember too, if you need to zoom in, you can use the um, little magnifying glass. If for some reason you click something on the black and it disappears, don't freak out. Use the undo button in the upper right hand corner too. But now I've got this beautiful clean image. This is the one that I want to save as my cut image. So now I'm selecting the one on the right. I'm selecting OK and it's thinking and boom now I have a beautiful cut image digitized clean in my library so if I insert that onto my mat you can see that it's beautiful and clean and now I can resize it there's the first one the print and cut I don't want that anymore but here's my new one in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to get rid of that one for you. There it is. Now I can resize it. So I can take that die cut that I had that only cut one size. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can flip it. Now I can cut it in all the materials that I want and get more for my money. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you thought this was com you know, difficult or whatever, please leave me a comment and I'll try and explain it a little more clearly. But in the meantime, have a good time digitizing your manual die cuts into die cutting files on Cricut Design Space. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, have a crafty day.